Senate Democrats are doing all they can to slow the confirmation of Supreme Court nominee Amy Coney Barrett. But Senate Republicans hope to have a procedural vote Sunday afternoon and the final vote Monday night. Washington correspondent Morgan Wright reports on the road ahead. Judge Amy Coney Barrett's Supreme Court confirmation has reached the Senate floor. Before we go any further, we should shut off the cameras, close the Senate, and talk face to face. Senate Democratic leader Chuck Schumer tried to delay the effort by forcing the chamber into a closed session to debate the nominee privately, but it was just a bump in the road toward confirmation. They have the vote. That's the hard reality. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal and Maryland Senator Ben Cardin say Democrats have not given up on blocking Barrett's nomination. We're still uh, going to continue to work to try to get two more Republican senators. Democrats say they take issue with Republicans' focus on confirming Judge Barrett instead of passing more COVID relief. McConnell is rushing through a nomination, but not a COVID package, so it's very frustrating. The quickest confirmation process in modern history, an abomination of a process that makes a mockery of the Senate and the Constitution. But Senate Republicans maintain Baird is one of the most qualified people to ever be nominated. Every American should celebrate the fact that a woman of this character and qualifications and knowledge of the law will be serving on the Supreme Court. Republicans insist that no amount of Democratic foot dragging will stop the confirmation. Polls clearly reflect the American people want her confirmed. The full Senate is on track for a final vote on the Baird confirmation Monday and shortly after Judge Barrett is likely to be sworn in as Justice Barrett. Reporting in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright.